Some of them are for your yeah. teeth. Your grill. Yeah, yeah, your grill. What's up guys? So, oh God. Uh, in our adventure to make this absolutely crappy OEM bumper that came with the 350Z. Look not like Look a... not as crappy. <laughs> yeah. The big reason we're doing this is actually, I would have kept it. This is the 06 bumper with the two lines across. Um, these, this top piece of the grill is actually known to break off. Is it's, it? It's a pretty common thing. So it probably it. was breaking off into the previous ownership and he just went screw it and just- Cut it off? Cut it, cut off the top. So now we'll just cut off the rest. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is, uh, so we got this grill uh, from eBay. It was 16 bucks. That's the backside of it. Basic diamond cut, yeah, backside. Basic diamond cut. We're gonna measure it to the size of the grill and just uh, zip side on, see how it goes. So I guess that's how you install grills. I don't know, I've never installed a grill. Let's do it. So I removed this little trim piece, um, which I really like these things. It's a shame it doesn't have two. I'm actually really surprised it. it comes off like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're, had, yeah. Real quick, it had three little screws Yeah. that he took off and then it separates. Really separates, weird. yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, Chop this. saw this, but I'm gonna leave this piece here with these pieces that connect for structural integrity for the bumper in general. Um, the grill is gonna hide it for the most part. So um, instead of just chopping this piece off. Completely. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's just better for structural integrity. Um, if the grill hides it well, then we did a good job. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna saw this off, so. Okay, so. There's dust everywhere, bro. Took some time to trim. You know, I wanted to keep that beam, but I couldn't, so we just ended up sawing this off, but I kept this. These little tabbies. What we're gonna do is drill a little bit into there so I can run zip ties. And basically, I'm just gonna run, um, just... and then we went, you know, trial and error, cut wide and then go tight. But yeah, we... definitely definitely make sure you don't cut too much. You know, really go, I mean, one, the first cut ended up being about here. Fortunately, if you guys, and we'll throw the link in the description, but fortunately, if you guys buy the same grill as we did, you you're gonna have a full grill spare. So if you really mess up, it's fine. So if you yeah. got a friend and you guys both wanna spend $8 on a grill, <laughs> there you go, you know? Yeah, so it's all cut up now. We used a set of metal shears, actually. We did, met metal shears were actually the way to go on this. Yeah, if you wanna grab those, actually, and hand them to me. Metal shears, they work real good. I got these from Home Depot 62,000 years ago for like six bucks or something. I don't know what it costs. <laughs> Point is, they work real good for cutting this. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we'll drill holes behind the grill and then basically just run a sequence of zip ties. Yeah. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Nothing in the nothing in the actual paint portion. Should, um, you know, maybe a grand total of like 10 to 16, I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And but like now we're gonna get some lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Here we go. Oh, the lunch break action. In his natural habitat. Point barbecue. Consuming some delicious looking food. You're good. Don't forget the mighty sriracha sauce. We shall back up in case of any danger he poses with eating his meal. So <laughs> Is it nature here now? Huh? We have seen. This beast gets serious. You can tell by his hat being backwards. This is how you know the beast is getting full when there's no hat on. Observe, he's almost demolished his prey. But barely any sriracha sauce. We have attached the grill. It is attached with many zip ties. Which if you want to stick that camera on yeah. over here. Did I talk about how I ended up cutting the thing? I did, right? What? I ended up chopping the crossbar off because it just wasn't going to work. Yeah, you talked about that. And then we drilled a bunch of holes on the border of the mouth and... Uh, and now there's zip ties. Zip tied the crap out of it. So I'm going to clip these zip ties off. Make sure to clip. If you if you do zip ties, clip them very short so you don't accidentally stab yourself because zip ties will cut you real bad. Real yeah. bad. I know from experience. 
when you're trying to reach into like some under some intake manifold and pull stuff out and then there's a zip tie that's not cut very well and all of a sudden it just drags through your entire arm that's pretty cool and you almost pull the welds on the intake 100 shot of nos got enough nos in there to blow himself up period bro no monica Yeah, all right, hold this up. Oh, you got it? I got it. I've been holding it, dude. Been holding it, bro. This guy. That's it, right? That's it. So, let's take a look at the front. And... Hey! Oh. So, this is the finished product. Um, you know, it's actually... Pretty secure. Pretty good. You're not gonna. 16 bucks, y'all, plus well, zip ties. Well, 16 bucks for two. 16 for bucks for two. Yeah, if you if you have a 350Z and you you and a friend want to install this, you'll get two of them, dude. That's pretty good, right? That's that's yeah. legit. We're gonna... And this this looks a lot better than missing one top bar and yeah some other junk, you know. No, that's a huge improvement. Let's walk it over and see. We are gonna cut the tow hook. It's actually the sturdiness of the bumper is. It's increased a good amount. No, I can tell by me moving it. Yeah. It's actually a lot better than wow. it was. Wow. That's, that's this, great. This bumper was very floppity because it had nothing to support it. Okay. And now the bumper is a lot more secure. So this has actually helped out a lot. Go ahead and get that. Up. Dude, all things said and done, oh, it's pretty good. Sixteen dollar grill, sixteen dollar grill, hundred dollar lip. We are. We have some more stuff to do still. So. Yeah, we're gonna do some a couple more things. Um, I am eventually going to. I'm not in a hurry to be honest, but I am eventually going to chop this area out. I'll probably uh, do a V pattern right here. Because the factory tow hook for the 350Z yeah, is just, right in there. Just so the factory tow hook is exposed. Yeah. But that looks pretty good. No, honestly, all things said, it's like... mind holding it in the center so I can just take a step back? And... Yeah, let me try to get it right there. There you go. Hold it, hold it right here. Yeah. No, there's... Just go ahead. I got it. I'm going to snap a shot. Yeah, go ahead. All things said, though, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, come grab a side, please. Do you want to take a step back and look at it? Sure. You know what it kind of reminds me of, honestly? I feel like the Factory Arcs 8 grills were kind of like that. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it looks really good. It looks really nice. Yeah. I think it came out pretty good. Yeah. $16 eBay grill. Yeah. $100 eBay? Uh, $105 lift with the chalice. But where'd you get it from? Magic Drift. No, no, but did you get it from their site? From eBay? Okay, from eBay. Magic so drift eBay has transformed this bumper for 120 bucks so far. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Done yet. We got a couple other things to improve this thing. So I'm happy with this. No, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Huge, huge improvement. This is this is going to do well for a temporary solution. So yeah. Uh, great. So let me put this down. Hold the corner. We do also have the factory uh, styrofoam that goes behind this. It's just not on there right now. Yeah. Which yeah, will help support great. the center of the bumper. And so let us know what you guys thought of the grill. Um, of the $16 grill. Yeah, I, th I think it's a I think it's a great improvement. It's, it definitely it's a little time consuming and it's definitely something you're gonna wanna do with the bumper off. It was time consuming to me. It took it's... us a good amount of time to get everything. Cause I mean, we tried to make sure this was fitted very well and not junk. Yeah, so we ended up going a little wide to start with, and then we narrowed up once we had the exact measurement of where Yeah, and we, we did have to, to take the corners up near this top area and shape them a bit, but um, all said and done, it looks great. Yeah, so uh, leave a comment down below, let us know what you guys thought of the video, and if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. I appreciate you guys.